Do you use Asana for your business? Let me show you how to integrate it with Jotform Sign. Hey Jotformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly and I'm currently in the desktop version of my dashboard. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create a signed document. So in order to do that, I'm gonna head up to the top left-hand corner where it says my forms and I'm gonna choose my signed documents. Next, I'm gonna click on the green create signed document button. And then from here, if you already have a PDF version of the document that you need signed, you're going to utilize the upload document option. But for this example, I'm going to use a template. And just to keep things as simple as possible, I'm gonna go ahead and use this very first one, the simple one one page lease agreement. Now, before I make any changes or even send this document, I always like to do a quick scroll just to see what I'm working with. So I can see that the landlord is everything in orange and the tenant is everything in purple. Perfect. Now, if there are fields that are missing that you need to add in, this is very similar to our form builder. So let's say that I need to add in an email address. I'm just gonna come over here to the left-hand side, add fields and I'm just gonna drag in the email right here. Now you can see the properties opened up for us. So if we need to change anything, maybe change it to me, the landlord, or keep it the tenant, we can do that. But as of right now, I think we're good to go. So let's go ahead and get this integrated with Asana. I'm gonna head up to the middle tab settings, then over on the left-hand side integrations. And we can see Asana is right here at the front, but if it's not, we can always utilize the search option. I'm gonna go ahead and choose Asana. And next we need to authenticate. Now, once you get in, the very first thing we're gonna do is we're going to choose the action type. So what type of integration are we looking for? Do we want it to create a task, a section, a project, or a task comment? So for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new project. Then we need to choose the workspace. I'm gonna go ahead and choose jotform.com. Then we need to pick a team for this workspace. I'm gonna go ahead and scroll all the way down. We're gonna head over to support. And last, we need to choose a name for our project. Now, right now it's pulling in the term of the lease, but maybe I want it to be the name of my new tenant. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose right here, tenant leasing name. And if we wanna add fields, we can do that as well, but I think we're good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and complete the integration and let's finish it up. Now, all that's left is to give this a test. So I'm gonna head up to that third tab, the send tab. And what we need to do here is we do add in our tenant's information. Now, if I click the send to sign button right now, both the landlord and the tenant are going to get this form at the exact same time. And that's not what I want to happen. I want to ensure that the landlord gets it first so that way they can pre-populate it. And then once they're done, the tenant will get it to sign. In order to do that is turn on a signing order right here. We can see these dots now populate. If we need to move anyone around, we can. But as of right now, we are good to go. So let's officially send a sign. All right, let's head over to the landlord's email and I'm gonna review and sign document. And we can see we have three fields right now and it dropped down to two because it went ahead and pre-populated my information. And just for the sake of time, I'm just gonna scroll down to the bottom and let's get this signed and dated real quick. And date, perfect. Now we can sign and complete and accept and send. Now let's head over to our tenant and we'll review and sign document. And we see we have four fields and it dropped it down to two for us. So same thing, I'm just gonna head down here, do a quick signature and date and sign and complete and accept and send. All right, now let's head over to Asana and we can see my new project with my new leases information has been added. And it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about utilizing Asana with Jotform Sign, definitely let us know. If you like this video, definitely hit the like button down below and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. And I'll see you next time.